And the Ghana Journalists Association, that's the GJA, has declared a nationwide media blackout on Member of Parliament for Yendi, Farouk Mahama, following an assault on City FM and City TV's journalist Mohamed Alabira during the January 29 MPP parliamentary primaries chaos in Yendi. The association urged the police to expedite investigations during a news conference here in Accra. City News' Fauzu Masawudu has the rest of the story. A surge in attacks on journalists, particularly during election periods, highlights concerns about gaps in legislation on press freedom and its enforcement. This trend significantly contributes to Ghana's decline on the Press Freedom Index. Data from the DJA shows at least 10 journalists assaulted in the last quarter. Notably, Mohamed Alabira was attacked by Yendi MP and political hoodlums during the NPP's parliamentary primaries on January 29. In this election year, colleagues, Two of, our, two of our colleagues have been attacked, as I indicated earlier, without any provocation. Last year, within the spirit of eight months, that's from March to October, more than nine journalists were assaulted. Apart from the attacks, our records also show that from 2021 to date, four journalists spent days beyond bars on the orders of the court for no apparent legal reasons. The DJ condemned the act and remains undeterred by threats of legal action by the Yendi MP. We are ready to meet him in court and wherever he wants to take the matter to. He should seal... <laughs> if Farouk Aliou Mahama does not seal the umbrella bodies, be it all of us gathered here, DJ, their foundation, Print Park, Giba, City, we will sue him. And we can assure you. DJ President Albert Jumfo outlined sanctions, including a media blackout against the MP and issued a 10 day ultimatum to the NPP and Ghana Police Service to apprehend the perpetrators. All media houses must blacklist and offer Farouk Aliou Mahama no media coverage, interview, etc. As the MP for Yendi and any other state position, he owes until further notice. We want you to know that apart from him being insensitive to the work of journalists, as demonstrated during the parliamentary primaries, there are vigilantes around him who may harm you. So just stay clear or stay away from him and his tax. We are giving the MPP, regional and national, and the Dampari led Ghana police service, 10 days, 10 days ultimatum, each to hear from them. They should arrest the perpetrators. If they fail, we shall advise ourselves accordingly. The association is yet to review similar sanctions on the MP for Iwutu Senior East, Hawa Kungsin, pending further engagements. Just yesterday, colleagues, Madam Mavis Hawa Kungsin reached out and has promised to meet with us to get the issue resolved and those who attack David sanctioned. Additionally, legal representative for CTFM and CTTV, Selo Madunu, has urged the Attorney General to prioritize handling the issue. He emphasized the station's dedication to seeking justice for Mohamed Alabira. It is not right for anybody, much less a member of parliament, to attack anybody. And we hope that the matter will be given the needed attention and the matter will be dealt with expeditiously. All we want is justice for Aminu Alabira and we will not rest until we have that justice. That is an assurance we can give you as a media house. Imagine a world without media. To say it will be a state of fear will be a huge understatement. The media matters and when it's threatened, it doesn't bode well for democracy. For the Ghana Journalist Association, protecting the rights of journalists is non-negotiable. For City News, Fauzuma Saudu, Accra.